Hi friends and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a day where I leave my comfort zone. I'm going to do my first solo cafe hopping and I'm quite a bit nervous but also excited. Are you ready to join me? So hi guys, I've just gotten ready to go cafe hopping um, on this slate grey February Saturday. Um, I'm going to try out some new cafes and like yeah normally i go to cafes to meet people i go there to see friends and to hang out but i feel i want to relearn how to really do things alone again i used to be very good at it when i was in my teens where i really didn't want to hang out with people so much and where i really enjoyed my uh alone time and my me time and i felt i have been I have gotten a little out of touch with that or with this part of my personality so I really want to relearn doing things alone and in enjoying things alone because this is a very healthy aspect of life um, that yeah also needs to be practiced I feel and that you don't feel a kind of weirdo doing things alone because society tells us like oh yeah you're like your social status is higher when you're always surrounded by people uh, even though it doesn't necessarily make you any happier um, nor should it take the fun of your life away when you do things alone so this is what i'm going to be practicing now and also for the future but i'm really happy that you're joining me and now let's get ready to catch the train this is my beautiful uni town heidelberg I came across a local bakery and I just love looking at what they have at display. Here at my first stop I tried to find a table where I had a bit more privacy and I didn't feel observed by others, so this place at the window is just perfect. Like I got a cinnamon roll and a cappuccino. And the sun is back. When I go to a social place like this, I tend to believe that people are watching me thinking that I don't have any friends or so. I know it's ridiculous, but I start to overthink a lot. Maybe you can see that I'm still being quite self-conscious in this video, but it actually was a good experience and I really enjoyed my time there, sitting in the sun and just enjoying this cinnamon bun in peace. It was yummy, but it could have been a little sweeter for me. I also had a little booklet with me to do some planning and scheduling which helped me to feel comfortable and to keep my mind engaged. So you might want to try this out when you're on a public menu like this on your own. And then I forgot to switch my phone camera off which is why we have that strange footage now. <laughs> my second stop was one of the most sought after cafes in town. But unfortunately I cannot take you there today. Really packed. I think you've seen this, so I'm trying to find another cafe that I haven't been to, but I'm gonna return to this one for sure. So I went to another cafe looking for a cute little corner spot, and I succeeded. This cafe had a kind of a library style that gave it a really comfortable feeling there, with bookshelves and mirrors, and just like in a living room kind of. When you're free, I'm Unfortunately, it also wasn't so crowded and loud. Sorry for the poor quality at times because sometimes I don't feel like recording with my camera because I'm not comfortable with this unwanted attention I get then. I ordered a brownie and a peppermint tea. Normally I don't really enjoy peppermint tea but today I was in need of something fresh. okay it tasted quite good but i was missing nuts inside and i could also taste that it wasn't homemade as i bake myself i can notice when it's like a mass product quite quickly but it was moist and fluffy and so i can't complain in total what i liked was that both the cinnamon bun and this brownie was not too sweet so i didn't feel sick in my stomach afterward I took the bus to go to my nail appointment and wasn't happy at all with the result. 
My last cafe of the day was a chain one and not one of these unique coffee shops in town. I needed a hot drink to warm up pretty quickly because I had just lost my gloves and was just freezing outside. So I stopped for this ginger lemon booster and a pistachio tartlet. That sweet and sour drink was like the best of the day. I loved it. And even though I didn't really feel like eating anything sugary anymore, I just had to try this one and it was really, really good. Soft and fluffy and moist. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on my first solo cafe hopping. I'm also planning on doing a series like that, doing things alone like cafe hopping, traveling and other activities. So if you enjoy content like this, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing. See you in the next one then guys, bye!